Tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of the start of the Second Vatican Council and the 20th anniversary of the publication of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It's also the beginning of a very special time for our church, the Year of Faith. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as we get ready to begin the Year of Faith, I wonder if you've thought about what you might do during the coming year to open yourself up for the graces which the Holy Father wants us all to receive. When Pope Benedict announced the Year of Faith, he shared his hope that this time will lead to, in his words, a concerted effort to rediscover and study the fundamental content of the faith. You can do that by setting aside some time every day for spiritual reading. And the first book that you should be reading is the Catechism of the Catholic Church. That may seem daunting because it's a big book, but just 15 minutes a day of such reading will, I'm convinced, help you go deeper in your faith. That's important because given all the forces that are at work in the modern world that distract us and draw us step by step away from the faith, if we don't go deeper, we will end up being, in blessed John Paul II's words, not simply mediocre or lukewarm Christians, but Christians at risk. At risk of what? Of losing our faith and not having the resources to deal with the difficulties that are part of life. Ultimately, though, faith is not so much a set of beliefs contained in a book, but a living person, Jesus Christ. Through spiritual reading, especially something rich in scripture quotes and passages from the saints like the Catechism, Jesus will speak to you and help you to know him better. About this, Pope Benedict wrote, in its very structure, the Catechism follows the development of the faith right up to the great themes of daily life. On page after page, we find that what is presented here is no theory, but an encounter with a person who lives within the church. So, if a daily program of brief spiritual reading isn't part of your plan for the year of faith, I encourage you to make it one.